Behold, my friends, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. Finally, I have acquired this game, and finally, I shall show you some death and carnage. Today, we will be playing with 300 Spartans. You can see them all here preparing for battle against 10,000 Persians. Now, 10,000 isn't the historical number. Of course, it would be a million but in the interest of a first try and getting this thing done within the span of an hour, <laughs> we're going to start with 10,000 Persians and work our way up from there. So let us begin. It seems the Persians have opted to climb the steep mountain instead of using the pathways. So we'll see if that works out in their favor. I don't think it will. Oh, first blood. Look at that. <laughs> Just yeeted him off the cliff. Good God. And the battle is joined. The Spartans are deciding to fight on the hillside instead of on the path. We'll see if that works out in their favor. Already the blood is beginning to flow down the hill. You can see it making its way towards the bottom of the hill. Here come the Persians around the rear of the Spartans. The Spartans do not see it coming. This could be very bad for our Spartan friends. Do they see it? Do they see it? Oh, some of them have turned. Some of them are attempting to hold off the Persian advance from the rear. Not very many, though. This could get very ugly. All right, we have a third breakthrough now. The Persians have broken through a third front. They are now behind entirely, attacking at three points, and their numbers are just overwhelming the Spartans. They're starting to get through the Spartans. In fact, right here, they're almost going to surround the Spartans if they just break a few more of them down. Once that happens, the Spartans are going to get attacked from the rear, and it's a short matter of time before death follows. Still, though, the Spartans are doing terrific jobs killing Persians. Oh my goodness, look at all these bodies. Just bodies going everywhere. Well, the Spartans certainly are holding their own. Half of their force is destroyed, but they are still dispatching Persians every second. You can see their bodies just tumbling down the hill here. <laughs> it looks great. But they are about to get hit in the rear, and I think it'll be over pretty quickly after that. Their men cannot hold against this many Persians. But they are going to go down in history as killing thousands of Persians to their 300. There we are. Our last three Spartans are fighting, and they are dead. There they go, tumbling down the hill. Well, that was quite, quite a kill count. In fact, there are still Persians dying who are sliding down the hill because they can't stand on the edge. So thankfully, the terrain has given the Spartans quite an advantage here, but ultimately it was not enough. So let's see what we can do with a little bit more Spartans. All right, so what if we add another 300 Spartans to the mix? Will it be enough to stop the Persians? With 300 more Spartans here, now we're going to be defending with uh, double our numbers, and also these Spartans are going to be able to cover the right flank. Well, at least that's the theory. Let's see what happens. All right, here comes the Persian army preparing to assault up the hill again. They've decided not to take the path, at least not yet. Let's watch their first warrior reach friendly lines. Oh, he just gets cut down. No chance. And the first Spartan column is now going to defend the side of the hill. As before, the Spartans have elected to hold the side of the hill rather than stay up on the path. This should uh, keep the enemy at bay for now until they start making their way up the side path. Now, if they path around again like they did last time, it could get very interesting. There could be uh, another total slaughter because they'll be attacked from behind. However, we've got double the number of Spartans this time. 
which means uh, there's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot harder for the Persians to break through. All right, there we go. The, the Persians have figured it out. They're starting to move their way up the side path, which means that the Spartans are going to have to hold from a rear attack in a moment as the Persians make their way to the Spartan rear. Should be interesting. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, the Persians are taking a really interesting route this time around. They're trying to go over the cliffs and hit the hit the Spartans right on their flank. The Spartans have figured it out. Here they come to defend and kill off any Persians that might try this sneaky little tactic. Interesting, very interesting. It looks like the Spartans are actually going to be able to finish off the Persian attack here on their flank, or at least they might be able to. It's pretty close. If they do, they're going to be able to return to their line and help their faltering line out with the primary attack there in the front. There's the envelopment. It is going to be over quickly now. The Spartans cannot hold back that kind of numbering. Persians have finished off the last Spartan. They're going after the breakoff group. This is going to be the last stand of the Spartans. They are making a good showing, though. They're taking on the Persians. They do have them in a real tight corridor, so they're probably going to get themselves quite a few kills here before they go down. Yeah, sorry, fellas, but there is just no way you are going to survive that. Man, they are fighting to the last, though. They do not want to die. Yep, there goes another one. And another one. Here we go, last one. And he is dead. Here we go. That is a Persian victory. 4,800 men lost against 600 Spartans. But still, 4,800 Persians. Not bad. And ultimately, they did, victor they did experience victory. So, we're going to do one more of these. Okay, here we go. 10,000 Spartans versus 100,000 Persians. Now, if history has told us anything, it's that one Spartan is, is easily capable of killing 10 Persians. But what will actually happen? Will the overwhelming 10 to 1 numbers of the Persians ultimately result in victory? Let's see. The Persian army approaches. Here comes the first clash of Spartans and Persians. Holy smokes, look at all these guys. All right, Spartans, you've got 10,000 men. You should be able to do this. Woo! Wow, look at that. The carnage ensues. We've already got 1,000 Persian losses to only five five Spartans. However, the Persians have a wider front. Once they can get around the Spartans, as they're doing right now on the flanks, it will start to change. The key is for the Spartans to be able to kill the Persians faster than the Persians can envelop them. You can see the Spartans turning around to take on the Persians at the rear. Hopefully it will be enough, but oh man, that's a lot. Oh wow, we're already at almost 5,000 Persian losses. Ooh, I do not know. Wow, look at that. That is just a massive encirclement. Blood is flowing like rivers down the hill. The Spartans are doing their best to stop the Persians. It looks like we're at 13,000 Persian losses, 500 Spartans. So 10% casualties for the Spartans so far. Uh, oh no, excuse me, they have 10,000. So this is 5% casualties for the Spartans, 15% for the Persians. If they can continue to hold like this, they will win against this Persian army. Look at this, the blood is flowing so much that it is pooling over here beneath the Spartans' feet. Wow, we've got a lake of blood, mostly Persians, but not entirely. We have nearly defeated half of the Persian army. Spartans just need to hold on and not allow the enemy to encircle them. More reinforcements coming in on the right flank to stop the encirclement. Let's check in on the left flank. Much the same with the left flank. It looks like there were a couple breakthroughs, but the Spartans are holding for now. 
However, the left flank is looking really thin. That is not a lot of bodies left to defend against the Persians. We will see if the Spartans can hold the left flank. If one of the flanks curls up, the, the uh, fight shall be over quite rapidly. Right now we've got a massive encirclement taking place. The right flank is in serious trouble. However, the Spartan center is massive. It's, it's very powerful. So if the right flank, if the right flank, wow, I can't speak. If the right flank breaks, it's quite possible that many of these center defenders will turn around and face the Spartan breakthrough, which they're going to have to do soon because the Spartans are breaking through the right right now. It's not looking too good over here. Let's see how the left is doing. Left is also in trouble. In fact, the left is very thin. All it's going to take is a small push for the Persians to start to roll up the Spartan left flank. The Spartans are getting encircled right here. And they are running out of bodies to stop it. Spartan center is looking rather strong. And it's just an absolute meat grinder here in the middle. Just taking out Persians non-stop. Looks like the center starting to send reinforcements to the right flank again. There we go. And they will start to counter these Persians. And there it is. The center is now pushing back. The Persians have no chance in the center. Their individual fighting ability is just not enough to stop the Spartans. In fact, here comes the left flank. The left flank is now pushing back. And the Persians are now on the back foot trying to stop their collapse. Oh boy, that is a lot of Spartans pushing in on Persians right now. Now, it looks like the Spartans' right flank fell apart. However, uh, they're making up for it with the left flank, which completely decimated the Persians. I mean, look at these bodies. Holy smokes. That is a lot of dead Persians and even a few dead Spartans right here. But it uh, looks like they made up for it. Their flank is now closing in on the Persians, and the Persians are now defending against superior numbers. I mean, technically, the Persians still have more troops. But uh, it's not gonna not gonna last for long. We're almost at even numbers here. We are at even numbers now. Spartans are just shredding what's left of the Persians. Persians are no longer able to encircle anyone. Now they are on the defensive, and you can just see what's going on here in the front line. They are just falling with every enemy thrust. Spartans now have a decided advantage, and they are using it. Oh, there goes what's left of the, the Persian reinforcements. Looks like these reinforcements are not going to stop it. Nope. Nope. Now it is just a matter of time before the Spartans completely mow down every Persian on the map. And there they go. The last Persians are now being cut down and added to the slaughter. Oh, there it is. Spartans have won. The body, or the battlefield is just littered with bodies. We even have pools of blood here where the bodies are beginning to sink in the blood. And you can see all the way out here in the field the blood has flowed. Oh boy, that is uh, it's pretty hideous. Good job, Spartans. Total losses 48, well, excuse me, total losses 51 52 out of their 10,000 men. So they suffered just over 50% casualties and completely eliminated the Persians. Well, that's it, folks, for this viewing. Until next time, this is XB Walker.